Hello everyone, my name is Dean Cernil, and we have another plantation rum cocktail coming just for you. Here it goes. We will start off, actually, we're going to hold off on the ice for just a second because this cocktail involves an egg. All right, we're going to take that egg and I'm going to open it up and I just want to pour the egg down the inside of the shaker tin and get rid of the shell. All right, I don't like doing the whole back and forth thing with the shell because I think it looks kind of gross. Here we go. We're just going to strain this off to get all of that great egg whiteness right there and I can cut it with my strainer. All right, cool, huh? And let's move on to, oh, well, let's do the rum. All right, let's do the rum. Here we go with pineapple rum. We've got our plantation pineapple rum. We're doing one ounce of plantation pineapple rum. We're doing half an ounce of the plantation dark rum. And I'm bringing it all the way around to the plantation OFTD which stands for, holy cow, it's hot, 69%. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. I'm just going to start cooking that egg. Fantastic. Two ounces of uh, pineapple juice. And the namesake of the cocktail. <laughs> Where'd you go, baby? There you are. The passion fruit real. Passion fruit from Vietnam. It's absolutely beautiful. It's it's actually quite tart. All right. Oh, I almost did it, but I stopped myself. I want to do a dry shake of this, so I actually want to drop a little. Uh, that's a little shaker ball in there. I'm gonna do a dry shake so we can shake all those ingredients with the egg and then infuse it and get all those flavors together. There we go. You have to shake it really hard, aggressively, because you want to really froth up that egg. Very good. Look how frothy that egg is. I'm just going to hold back that. And now add some ice cubes, because you still need the dilution, especially with that 69 over there. We'll shake it up again. And I'm bringing in my fancy coupe glass. Hawthorne strainer and a fine strainer. This fine strainer is actually going to hold back any particles of ice and big bubbles. And it's going to make the froth on top of this drink so much stronger. If somebody has a quieter way of doing this, please let me know in the comments. I guess I can find something else to bang it again, whatever. Beautiful. And my garnish comes in with just a little cookie cutter and a little pay shot bitters. I'm just going to put a few uh, stars. They're stars. On top of the drink. That's absolutely cool. We're going to get a close-up of that in just a second. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is, the cocktail that I like to call... Plantations, passionate forward.